What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you don't like cleaning your car wheels, you might need this. Now, hopefully, this will be your knight in shiny armor. It's the Brush Hero. The ultimate detail brush includes two brushes, a black and a white one. It's good to see that they're getting along. And I was really curious about this particular brush because I saw it online, and it's got a brush, a turbine body, a flow control switch, and hooks up to your hose. And what was really interesting about this, and I've used just regular brushes, you know, spray the cleaner onto the wheel itself and use one of the wheel brushes and kind of scrubbed it. Now this one was really interesting to me because of the turbine brush. So first of all, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. This thing was about 30 bucks, which I've kind of expected it to be a little cheaper. You can see we have a white bristle and a black bristle. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any difference between them. Um, I can't tell any difference between the two, you know, so usually one is maybe a harder bristle, one is a softer, um, but they feel almost exactly the same. So maybe it's just a replacement. So you got that, but I don't know. They seem the same size too. All right. So it comes installed here. I think this will just pull off is my guess. Arr. Looks like it should, but it's not going to be super easy. Um, and then what we have here is you can kind of see it floats on like the chuck or the, the post right there. Um, but then what you have is a spinning brush, and that's gonna be really nice for getting into lots of nooks and crannies. Uh, all those tight spokes on wheels are, uh, can be a real pain to kind of get in between them. Sometimes I have to use a rag, wrap it around my finger and really get in there. And a lot of times that brake dust is on there and kicked on there so well that you really have to scrub it. So having a spinning brush like this is really interesting. I wonder how much torque it'll produce. We'll look at that too. What we have is a body here, so you can get in there really deep. You have a switch. Ooh, looks like it has some detents there, so it's kind of variable. We have some rubber fins down here, so this thing is pretty grippy. Uh, finger grooves, fits on the palm of my hand nicely. All plastic construction, no uh, brass hardware or anything, but then your hose will hook up here. So I'm assuming you turn it on here and that might control how fast it goes. Now that you've seen the brush, you need to see it working in action. Let's try it out. All right, so I've got the hose hooked up here. I'm gonna turn on the water supply to it and I think it should be pressurized. So I think I just turn this on. Oh, looking there. So what ends up happening is these jets of water shoot up into the bristles and then the rotation, there's a little like um, turbine fan down here. And I think as the water's pushing in there, there's probably a rod that goes all the way up or this rod goes all the way down there and it just slowly turns this. So that's how you get the water on there. Now, how much torque is this producing? I'll say I'm kind of grabbing it and it's still spinning. So that's got a lot of cleaning power and getting really wet. I can absolutely pinch it down and stop it, but still turning there. All right, looks like I can kind of get a slower mode and then speed it up. So a little bit of a variable speed there. So let's get these wheels uh, soaked and cleaner and then try cleaning them. All right, sprayed these wheels down with bletch white and now I'm gonna use this cleaner and see how it does. I've definitely have carbon all over these. These brakes dust like a Dickens here. So let's clean them up. And it's pretty nice right on these inside edges. This is a really hard edge to get, but with the spinning brush, even these little lift here. You can just run the brush over there and they're spinning. I'd like to get more surface area, especially on these outside pieces, but inside these spokes, that's where it's really shining. Even inside these lug recesses there, that's pretty awesome. Usually you can almost never get in there, at least you can never get it uh, scrubbed up, really. Now, this works pretty well. And I'm not doing anything other than just guiding this sucker. And you can really see it coming off the edges, all that carbon. Now this is on its fastest speed, so it doesn't get any faster than this. But I do like now I can kind of press this up against the edge here to kind of work this edge and get it uh, scrubbed with the spinning of the brush. Now I will say, I don't know that this totally eliminates the need for your regular brush because there are some areas where you're probably gonna work, wanna work it again. And really put in some elbow grease onto some of these places, kinda really scrub off the carbon, but 
<laughs> man, that looks great. And this thing is going to stay in my car washing collection for sure. Definitely. If you want to pick this up, I will put a link to the description. Peter Brown Panda out.